As I was thinking about the fourth live stream for Beyond Good and Evil 2, I had the thought, Fox McCloud would be perfect for this game. And you might think, dude, this game isn't even coming out on a Nintendo console. There is no way. But I think that it might just be a possibility. Hello, fellow space monkeys. This is the mildly morose man, otherwise known as Dan or Dan the man, whichever you fancy. I'm here to bring you another thought-provoking video on the video game Beyond Good and Evil 2. The possibility of Star Fox appearing in an exclusive version of Beyond Good and Evil 2 on the Nintendo Switch will be the topic of discussion for this video. I know, I've got a lot of work to convince folks of this one because it seems like such a stretch. I can just hear people say, Nintendo has never been a graphical powerhouse. Their games don't look realistic. They revolutionize gameplay within power limits, not the other way around. But look, I've got evidence that Beyond Good and Evil 2 releasing on the Switch is not so far-fetched. And let's be honest, it would be a perfect fit for our favorite fox-human hybrid to appear in the Beyond Good and Evil universe. So first of all, cloud gaming is on the rise. The Rainway app is a service that should be seeing a formal release in 2019 and was at one point thought to be coming to the Switch. The app would have allowed Switch owners to play games from their PC on the Switch hypothetically from anywhere provided they had an internet connection. I thought this was true because the reveal trailer for the project showed off the streaming service running on the Switch. Since then, they have taken down that initial trailer and it looks like they used the possibility of the streaming service being released on the Switch simply to generate hype without knowing whether they would be allowed to release on the console or not. But this is not all speculation. While this has not yet reached the United States, games are being streamed to the Switch right now in Japan. And these are not small franchises. We're talking about Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Resident Evil 7. The Switch is not region locked, so other YouTubers have featured trying to play these streamable titles from the United States. Reasonably, the games don't work well when the server that the game is running on is halfway around the world from the Switch that the game is being played on. But what I assume is that this feature worked well in Japan and we will continue to see titles released in this way. This is one of those trends in gaming. And remember, Ubisoft are the ones behind Assassin's Creed. So couldn't it be possible that games being able to run on a particular piece of hardware will no longer be limited by the graphics capabilities of the hardware itself? Uh, let's take a listen to the president of Ubisoft himself as he answers some of our questions from E3 2018. Uh, check out what he has to say about console cycles in the future of gaming. What we are dreaming at is that technology will allow uh, us to actually stream our games to all the, the TVs, uh, mobile phones and tablets uh, in the future and that uh, we will be able to give an opportunity to all our brands to reach 2.5 billion players in, uh, in five years and maybe 5 billion players in, uh, in 10 years. Uh, so we are very excited about that new opportunity. And the other thing is also to be able to use uh, big forms of servers to create games that um, we couldn't dream of creating before. The president of Ubisoft himself is anticipating this sort of change in the video game market. Games will be streamed to whatever screen can maintain a solid internet connection. This is what seems to be coming in the future. And interestingly enough, a question was answered about the strong relationship between Nintendo and Ubisoft. Check this out. We, um, we have done many things together in the past and um, the, the Nintendo brands and their capacity to create fantastic games is really something that our uh, creators in Ubisoft love and um, when they can collaborate with Nintendo they are extremely uh, happy to do so. So yes, it will continue and I hope we will be able to surprise you with uh, new things in the future. Now that doesn't provide us with much new information, except that Ubisoft and Nintendo will continue working with one another on video games in the future. So the president of Ubisoft is anticipating a new generation of gaming where hardware is not as significant because games will be streamed to all sorts of devices. But this is not just a sentiment of Ubisoft, but Miyamoto from Nintendo about this time last year stated at an investors meeting, up until now, the hardware life cycle has trended at around five or six years, 
but it would be very interesting if we could prolong that life cycle, and I think you should be looking forward to that. You see, the only way that they could make that work is if there was a shift towards streaming games, because then the lackluster power of the Switch wouldn't matter for the new games that would continue to press the hardware's limitations. Again, could Star Fox be in an exclusive version of Beyond Good and Evil 2? Well, consider the evidence. Gaiman is moving towards streaming, and there is already a precedent of Ubisoft making this happen on the Switch with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The relationship between Ubisoft and Nintendo is strong. Star Fox appearing in a game made by Ubisoft has already happened, and it worked great. Some say it's the best Star Fox game that has been released. And Star Fox, as a literal fox-human hybrid, would be a perfect fit for Beyond Good and Evil 2. And look, we know that Ubisoft plans on making Beyond Good and Evil 2 an always online title anyway, so it doesn't seem that far of a stretch to require Switch owners to always be online in order to stream the game as well. Star Fox could be a legendary character in Beyond Good and Evil 2. And apart from all that, these types of cross-promotional appearances are all the rage these days. I mean, think of Geralt of Rivia hypothetically being able to hop into any game universe considering what he goes through in The Witcher 3. And of course, the most massive collaboration of video game IPs happens on Nintendo consoles every generation with Super Smash Bros. So is it really that far-fetched that Star Fox could appear in Beyond Good and Evil 2? But what do you think? Will Beyond Good and Evil 2 be a game that is streamable on the Switch when it releases? If that really happens, do you think there's a possibility of Fox McCloud from the Star Fox universe appearing in the game? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all things Beyond Good and Evil 2, and if you want to hear more content from this mildly morose man.